did he think that the game was tied, or did he think that you guys had it salted away? How do I know that? <laughs> or did you discuss it at all with him at the end of the play? No. They asked me if I talked to JR about us. <laughs> nah. Nah, because I feel the brownness. I feel him. I understand him, bro. I f look at his face. Look at his demeanor, bro. Like, he's not... He's not Playing, bro. He being dead ass serious. Like, bro, stop asking me these dumb ass questions. I'm not here for it. Said no already. I knew it was a tie game. We met, we, we was down one. Um, George Hill went up. He made the first one. We got the offensive rebound. You know, I thought we were all aware of what was going on. That's my view. So, I don't know what Jr. was thinking. I don't know the question that you're trying to ask. He high. I was just trying to see if you you knew exactly what his state of mind was. Did he think? that you guys had it won, or did he think he was trying to make a play? <laughs> not sure. <laughs> he mad I'm as hell, sure. bro. No, I don't know his state of mind. Did you know if he made the score? <laughs> How does he know? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dudes be killing me, bro. <laughs> Funny because this is like this is like a meme now. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Someone say some dumb shit, you just walk out. Look, everybody look at him. Everybody look at him. Everybody mad, bro. Everybody, all these reporters looking at the reporter who asked a dumbass question. All right, man. No intro needed, man. We're gonna write to Fantic Fantic Mixes reporters asking NBA players stupid questions, man. Now look, bro. This all started with us looking at that LeBron James clip, okay? A LeBron James clip where the reporter asked him about the JR situation and he just walked up and, and, and left the room, man. Put his shades on, grabbed his suitcase and, and just said, I'm out of here, coach. <laughs> That's what sparked this whole entire video. You feel what I'm saying? Now look, man. Um, That made my night. Hopefully that, that, that little clip, that meme is in this video. But uh, like I said before, man, these reporters need to get smacked because they, they be act they be like like seriously asking dumbass questions all the time. Like like seriously, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm surprised none of these none of these reporters got touched on. You feel me? Cause bro, the 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 questions they be asking, there's no way you went to school for this. There's no way you, you went through years of journalism to, to ask me a question of this of this stupidity. You feel what I'm saying? And, but hey, let's get straight to the video. I'm um, pretty sure it's going to be a funny one. Let's get to it. Chris, uh, will the Clippers be back here Sunday playing <laughs> game seven? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're feeling it, aren't you? Yo, we started early. Yo, we started early, bro. <laughs> My man, Chris Paul. <laughs> My man, Chris Paul, plays for the Clippers. He asked him, "Will he be back here on for Game Seven? Where you? What? What? Are, what? Oh man, let me just play the video. You know your <laughs> level of confidence that you'll be back here again. I'm, I'm on the team. What you want me to say? No, nah, it's over. I, just, I mean, that's what you want to hear? Yes. That's. Come on, man. You've been doing this long enough. Seriously, right? You can expand upon that. No, I don't know." Everybody in here laughing for a reason. Oh my gosh, bro. Bobby on the left side. Bobby standing. Ramos, bottom line. This is for both of you. You have a great defense. They're average. Wait, the, is the volume high enough? Hold up, wait. Okay, I think the volume's high enough. Four points a game. You that's that's the loudest you can get. You haven't broke 100 yet. Is the problem your lackluster defense or is it the problems you're having offensively? He asked. Well, offense. <laughs> well, he, I, I don't know who he even asked. Um, the problem is we're down two games to one. That's the problem. We got to figure out how to tie it up. Tristan calls LeBron a great father after the Chicago game. What? <laughs> Yo, the volume is so low, man. I can oh, barely hear it. Oh, I thought he's I, got, if I, I can barely hear it. I know y'all can barely hear it. I thought you said he was a great father to him. I was like, what? Called him a great father. So yeah. what type of parental role has he played for you and your teammates? No, that's wild. Oh, okay. So you... You 
yeah. Nah, nah. I, I seen a clip. Someone said this spark. This, this, this is what. This is the reason he wanted to leave Cleveland. Mental role. I, honestly, I'm. I'm. You know, he's. <laughs> I don't know how to really answer that question. I'm, he's been a. He's been a, a great leader for us. I wouldn't. I have one father. I. <laughs> my, um, us, my man had to stay his old his whole his whole name, father government court, name bro how to carry ourselves off the court i feel like he's been a great influence oh my in, in that role okay uh Draymond, uh here's a interesting question so last year you visit us uh game three the no flood you win game four there was flood you lo you lose <laughs> and this year you visit us game three there's a flood you win game four there's no flood you uh what are you saying? Three, three, there's flood, you, you lose. Game four, there's uh, no flood, you win. Brother, so, you, you mean... asked me about the flood in practice the other day. You know, and I um, I, I said I pray for Oh, he said flood. Time. I didn't know what he was saying. Okay, okay. Because you don't want to see anyone go through that. Thanks. I feel like you keep trying to get at like us hitting threes or something. You're trying to get a controversial statement out of me. But you're not because I feel sorry for the people of Houston. People are losing their homes, losing their cars losing their lives, losing loved ones, and you're trying to get a controversial statement out of me. Ah. Uh, the threes were here. I know what you're getting at, but you're not getting at Oh, he thought he was slick. If I was from Houston, I'd do anything I can to help the city out. And he thought he was I'm slick. Sure some of those guys are going to do what they can to help the city out. And you saw a donation the other, other, the other night. Sucks. Stop trying to do that. That's not cool, man. You keep asking me the same question about this flood. These people are losing their lives. Bro. Yeah, talk losing to him, home. Dre. Don't ask me that no more. That's when Dre was cool. Now he's stepping on niggas' chests. That ain't cool. <laughs> and you're not getting a statement man. out of me. That's not cool, man. Stop doing that. Toward the end of the game. Now he's uh, stopping niggas out. Three, kind of putting the dagger into him. And you look toward the crowd, toward uh, Rihanna. Uh, was was that uh, uh, on purpose? Or or do you remember that? Or? I don't even remember that. <laughs> well, just to let you know, social media is buzzing about Really? It. Yes. Don't get in that trap. Yeah, bro. don't get in that trap. <laughs> I'm cool. Have fun with that. Dan Feldman, NBC okay. Sports. Steph, I'm sorry we keep asking you about squatting, but well... Draymond and Steve were arguing with the ref and one of them got the technical. It looked like you squatted down and were you just stretching there and what did Richard Jefferson say to you? What? You, you serious better, right bro. now? You gotta be better. People people are curious. Come on now, man. <laughs> this is crazy. You gotta be better than that. <laughs> what? I really don't have an answer for that. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Squatting? What did Richard Jefferson say to you? I have no idea. I don't remember what, what uh, situation you're talking about, but... Yo, what type time they on? He on some free shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I like you, but you gotta be better. Can I'll take compliment. Russell, nah, this is right. funny. Who's this game or did you guys win this one? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> Bro, I'm out, man. I think it's true. Shaq, let's say Yo, Russ, the, uh, real for that snake one. Snake bit your mom right up here, right in the chest area. Would you be willing to suck the venom out to win the title? <laughs> Bro, there's no way this this, this can't be a real uh, this can't be a real interview or real like reporting. This guy be like a commercial or some shit, bro. Facts. This gotta be a commercial. There's no way you're asking an NBA player. I know Shaq is a fool. You know what I'm saying? I know he be acting a fool. You know what I mean? I know he be doing the the the, the, the tomfoolery. But at the same damn time, bro, I know I know you're gonna ask a basketball player is he gonna suck the venom out of his mom titties. To, to win a championship, bro. It, bro. I know this thing. This can't be real. No, but I will with your wife. To <laughs> venom out to win the title. Snake bit your mom right up here, right in the chest area. Would you oh. be willing to suck the venom out to win the title? No, but I will with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's wild, though. That's wild. But what you gonna do? He big as hell, bro. Look, look how he, look, 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 look how he look when he get up. Like, like, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, Look, I'm, I'm cursing at him. I'm, I'm saying you a, you this, you that, man. Your mama this, that. I'm, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Cause that, I mean, he, he, he started first though. But at the same time, bro, he came at you with, a, with a hate maker, coach. I ain't gonna lie to you. And the wife probably, she, she probably courtside now too. He could probably, he could, he could have really stole his wife. You know what I mean? Throw the bag at her. And she, she, she run, she running like these. Okay. Oh, Quote sheets will be available at the. Run, you may not um, <laughs> like this one. I'm not 
thrilled asking it. I'm obviously trying to diffuse this a little bit, but um, it appears that you unfollowed the Cavs on Twitter today, and it's it's caused quite a stir. Why did you do that, or what what would go into that? That's kind of a valid question. Though. That's a valid question. Next I question. Next question. That's valid, under, though. You've had 38 assists tonight. That's a season high. What can is this something you can take forward to the next game? Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm done. Last question. Nah, this is Good funny. <laughs> this is funny. This is the best interview, bro. The best damn. This is crazy. About whether Jr. thought the game was tied, or the way, or whether he thought you guys were ahead. From where you stood on the court, and from talking to him after the play, what you, what's your reaction to it? What's your version? What do you mean? What's my version? Well, did he think that the game was? Yeah, tied we just got done watching this too. You guys had it salted away. How do I know that? <laughs> Or did you discuss it at all with him at the end of the play? No. They asked me if I talked to JR about it. I said no already. <laughs> I knew it was a tie game. We, met, we, we was down one. Um, George Hill went up. He made the first one. We got the offensive rebound. You know, I thought we were all aware of what was going on. That's my view. So I don't know what JR was thinking. I don't know the question that you're trying to ask. I'm just trying to see if you, you knew exactly what his state of mind was. Did he think that you guys had it won, or did he think he was trying to make a play? No. Not sure. Okay. What do you mean, I'm not sure. <laughs> did you know if he needed to score? <laughs> you, know, you know, the way he just gets up, grabs the man glasses, <laughs> put them on, <laughs> and then grab his suitcase and walks out, bro. <laughs> I don't know who the hell he pointed to. That's that was funny. That's that's gonna sad, always be funny. Being around young players, energized. That's gonna always be funny. Man. That's not a statement about maybe. Oh my you gosh. See some young players on your team. Wow. That, <laughs> I remember this. You know what? That's a Bikram yoga stretch. I remember this. You stretched the hell out of it. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I'm not even gonna answer that. That's just silly. Yo, RP yes. Kobe, man. I remember that. I remember this. Uh, Do you think Harden is a max player? That interview or whatever. Where would you rate him as a shooting guard in the NBA? Um, James Harden is a, is a great player for our team. Uh, he does a lot of great things for us, and um, he's going to continue to do that for us. No more questions for you, bro. <laughs> 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 there was a lot of LeBron interviews. Uh, well, I mean, are you a smart guy? Well, we we asked him. We asked him. Uh, well, I mean, are you a smart guy? Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> are you supposed to be a case where you guys just need to defend home court at this point? I can't hear what you said. Uh, well, I mean, are you a smart guy? Think so. Sure. Think so, right? So if we don't defend home court, what happens? Yeah. <laughs> I'm asking you. <laughs> All right. So that answers your question. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Just need some food and some wine. I'll be all right. How do you think he was handling just the frustration later in the game of, of you know, the way he played or didn't play in the first half and, and, and as things kind of, in, in the fourth quarter, it seems like, you know, he, he wasn't, things weren't breaking for him. What's your question? Well, how, how do you think he handled the frustration? Um, I mean, it seemed like there were no, a, lot, I mean, a lot of things that were yeah, going I mean, against him. Uh, I mean, he's a competitive guy, man. So he, he felt like he had, they missed a goal to the call, which they did miss. And then I said so after the fact. So he kind of lost it there for a second and went, went crazy. You know, he didn't pick up a technical foul or anything like that. But I felt like he played with the intensity that we want him to play with, you know, in the second half. Does that, does that say something, though, that, I mean, you guys scored on the possession anyway and that he's he's still frustrated enough that he's, uh, you know, not letting it go? <laughs> what, what, what are you writing, a temper tantrum? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, look. What you, is he talking about? Everybody has moments where you blow up like that, where they, you know, you didn't cost us anything. You didn't get a technical foul. Do what? Do you still feel the same way about practice? Do I what? Do you still feel the same way about practice? <laughs> Obviously, you didn't get it. <laughs> nah, that's a, that's a good one. I 
I really, I didn't think that I would ever get that question again. <laughs> See, you might not have seen the documentary, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm not gonna watch it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna just, you know. Hope that you didn't, you didn't see it. But I, I, you just heard me say I was the MVP. That's the best player in the whole world. You think I can't be a, I can be an MVP without practicing? Right. Got to be a bad motherfucker. <laughs> There's a video of like. What look like? <laughs> okay. For real, man. I didn't know if you went to clear anything up. I didn't know if you went to clear anything up. I didn't know what What video? There's a video that the Thunder Twitter account tweeted out. What video? It's a video of you putting up a shot pregame. Mm -hmm. Ran off and yelled something. I would something never say no other man's name like that. <laughs> Yo, what was the question, bro? What do I look like? I was talking to my trainer's daughter. His name is her daughter. His daughter's name is Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. I'm tired. Of yeah, I gotta see that video. I'm about to keep going on there. I'm, I'm about to keep my spirit up. I'm not about to even involve myself in no dumb stuff like that. But next question, man. <laughs> Steven, second time in three games, uh, you guys really struggled when Russell went to the bench. You were out there for part of that. What goes on when he goes to the bench? Why is Houston so successful? And, and do you sense that that they sort of get an energy boost just from him going out of the game? Hold on, Steven. <clears throat> I don't want nobody to try to split us up. We all one team. Regardless, if I go to the bench, if Steve was on the floor, if I'm off the floor, we in this together. Don't split us up. Don't try to split us up. Don't try to make us go against each other. Try to make it against Russell and the rest of the guys, Russell against Houston. I don't, I don't want to hear that. We in this together. We playing as a team, and that's all that matters. That's it. Yeah, Russell, I'm not trying to split you up, but twice in three games, you guys have not played well at all when you've gone to the bench. That's fine. We, and say, I'm just say, trying to figure out what's going say, on. Say, Russell, you ain't played well at all. Say, Russell and the team is, haven't played well. Don't say when Russell goes out, the team don't play well. Don't, nah, that's not really a stupid question, that. though. That may, it's not really that a that stupid question. Russell, but I asked Steven a question. Well, and it's, it's a legitimate question. you. Next question. It's a legitimate question. Next question. Next question. Well, Next question. Please get that's a question. No, I'm keep the microphone. I had a question for Ste I had a question for Stephen, and it, it wasn't answered. And I don't understand if Stephen wants to say he still hasn't said anything. He wants to say I don't want to answer that. Fine. But next question, please. <laughs> yeah, he sunned him. That fine. He sunned him. Hey man, that's it in the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, boy, man. We out of here.